here with Chris Reed from Quantum Health's Value Creation Center of Excellence. Chris, let's dive into these recent ROI results analysis. We're really excited uh, about releasing our latest third-party actuarial study. Um, as a founder of Navigation in Quantum Health, we feel it's really important that we continue to pave the path for what results should look like, what that success is in curbing those healthcare trend costs. And um, we're excited to release that again here very shortly. Um, what we did is we kind of go back the onion. We took a five-year look into our book of business. We did an independent third-party actuarial validation of it. And so we started with 2018. We went all the way through plan year 2022. And what we found is that we, will, we had a significant impact in curbing those trend costs to the extent of a 3.3 to 1 ROI in year one and a 5.3 to 1 one ROI in year three, 4.8 net administrative fees. So um, super excited about that. Um, those results are, are really unique, I think, to Quantum Health in that we took the time to look through our entire book of business with a slightly modified methodology, which I'd like to talk about here in a minute. Um, before I get there, we did the third party actuary we partnered with. His name is Ed Palowski. He is the founder of Morningstar Actuarial Consulting. He's been in the business for about 40 years. He's worked with Fortune 500 companies. He's worked with health plans, other point solutions, um, a really well-known guy in the actuarial field. Um, recently, I think he served as a conference of consulting actuarials presidents. President. So um, it, was a, it was a real pleasure to get to partner with him on this study. Um, as you know, we have been doing studies for about 20 years here at Quantum Health, every year taking our entire book of business out. But as I mentioned before, uh, we took an evolved approach this year. And so historically, what we do is we look at the top six to seven actuarial consulting firms, and we say, we're going to go and blend what they project to be the claims projections for that given year. And then we're going to study how those add up or compare to our actual results. This year, we took a step back and we said, I, we can do better. We can get even more specific. And so what we did is we took independent claims projections for our individual clients. And we looked at how looking at those on an aggregate add up to the savings compared to our, our actuals. And um, that's where we got the 5.3 and 3.3 um, ROIs from. Other navigation firms typically will look at one or two case studies and um, maybe choose favorable years for that. And so that's why we're really proud to do this five-year spectrum and um, the full book of business. I will say that we think it's, you know, the first of its kind in methodology. And the way we do this on an individual client basis is that we take our actuary team and for every single client, we go out there and we sit down with their consulting team and their actuarial team. And we say, tell us about your budget assumptions. Let us know what plan designs changes you're making. Let us know about what network changes you're making. What may influence that future claims rejection? Then we take that back to our team and we say, okay, so this is where we expect this individual client to be. This is where he ended up. And that's the implied value of our service and making sure that their consultant agrees with it. What's really cool is that by doing that, you take into account historical claims, you take into account pooling points and um, the impact COVID may have had on some of the claims during that time frame. And so by taking that individual approach, we, we now have a better view of what that ROI is overall when you aggregate that across our book of business. Um, and I think this new approach really sets us apart in that it's the full book of business. It's the full time frame, and it's that 5.3 to 1 ROI in a three-year time frame. And what do these results mean to employers? Yeah, I, I think um, that's what we're really excited about. It's really a win-win for both the member and the employer. So if you think about it, we're able to provide a uniquely exceptional experience to that member who's going through something unusual to them in their healthcare journey. They didn't choose to go on a healthcare journey, got thrust into it, and they have to make decisions that they're ill-equipped to make. At the same time, by Quantum Health guiding them through that journey, we're able to save the employer money. So what, what's really cool about Quantum Health and really great about working here at Quantum is that you know that we're doing the right thing. We're taking on the hard stuff for that member. We're showing them love and empathy as they're going through what could be a very life-altering event for them. Um, and we're doing it earlier in their healthcare journey via real-time interception. So we're making sure that we're there early enough to help them make the decisions that they don't know how to make by themselves. 
And by doing that and avoiding the ping-ponging throughout the healthcare system, we're able to help the employer save money too. And I think that's that's what re- it really means to an employer is you get the benefit of offering an exceptional service to your members that really takes good care of them. And then you get the savings in curbing the healthcare cost trends that are always rising. The question everyone wants to know, how do these results differ from other navigation solutions? Yeah, so um, I, I think we all know that our benefit decision makers right now have a lot on their plate. And they have all these point solutions to choose from, all these vendor partners. Um, I think what this really tells them is that by Quantum being bold enough and willing enough to take our entire book of business out and give it to a third-party actuary and have it validated, they can have confidence that they're choosing the right partner when they go with Quantum Health in comparison to some of our competitors that may kind of cherry pick a few clients, call it a case study, and then rely on that ROI going forward. Um, I think what's also really cool and really important to point out is that by doing a book of business study, clients can have confidence in Quantum Health that it doesn't matter about size. It doesn't matter about industry. I mean, if you look at our book of business, we have pizza shops with less than a thousand lives. We have financial firms with 10,000 and we have retail employers and it, um, airlines that have hundreds of thousands of employers and the value is there for all of them. And this paper justifies that or validates that it, it also shows that, um, it doesn't matter what kind of industry, it doesn't matter what kind of size. And so I think that also drives a lot of value too, is that, Everyone shows up to healthcare the same way. You're not ready for it. You're scared. You're nervous. You need help. You need a, a human-centered, tech-enabled organization to help kind of guide you through that. And that's what our care coordinators do for you. 